Have you ever had trouble peeling a potato with a regular potato peeler? I'll show you how to do it with a pair of gloves. Peeling potatoes can take forever. Oh no, not with a knife, that's dangerous. Now there's a better way. Introducing Tater Mitts, the innovative new kitchen gloves. Simply rub and... One of the biggest things that I uh, always kind of go through and see on Amazon is some of the weird stuff that you can get or as seen on TV products. Um, some of them are, are, are really weird. This one, it kind of catches my eye in a different way. Um, they're called the Tater Mitts. Uh, they are supposed to be gloves with like a, oh my. They are gloves that looks like plastic beads on them. Hold on, let me open this up. Now one of the funny things about all this packaging is warning it to avoid danger of suffocation. They, they have to put these things on packages. Why? Because kids are getting into them and, and they're suffocating. First off, how are we letting our kids get to this plastic? This seems ridiculous. Oh, I can't open this up. This is, uh, hopefully the gloves are as tough as the plastic. All right. So first off we have here are some basic instructions with everything we get. Uh, kind of just talking to you about washing your potato. Uh, it says to do it under water. Do not drain the hot water. Remove the potatoes from fork. Oh, serving tip. Okay. Uh, let's see here. It does not say with water. Okay, so actually it says, pick up potato wearing the tater mitts and rub it vigorously under cold water to remove the skin. You can replace a colander underneath it for easy cleanup, but we're not gonna use water. We're gonna see how this works without using water because to be honest with you, that's a waste of water. There's the glove. That is the glove itself. It's very coarse. I'm, I'm curious to put these things on. My watch is kind of in the way here. These are, oh, weird. Very, very weird. This is so funny. Again, I do have potato. If I don't drop it, the gloves are, I mean, let me move this all the way, get my plate here, my serving plate. No. Again, I'm not going to use water here, but maybe I should try with water. Even without, without water, I think I know why it says to use water. My only question to this is yes, you're supposed to do this underwater, which in result, um, the, the stuff that's on the gloves, is it, it's going to wash down the drain. Um, but that is just doesn't seem like it'd be easy to get out at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this under some water and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I'm back from the water um as you can tell there's still a lot of stuff in my gloves and my gloves are, are dripping wet here the potato is not all taken off these gloves they are very coarse but there's only one problem i don't know if you can see it but there is specks of the blue glove all over this plate and it's actually in the sink as well. So, is it good for consumption? I have no idea. And I'm wondering, there's nothing on here about it. Um, just there's particles everywhere. And there's microscopic particle, particles as well. I mean, it's very, very small. Uh, I just don't know if you would wanna be eating plastic. Um, yeah, but all things aside, the potato 
I, I think the skin, the, the, it's really hard. I wonder how it would do on an apple. Now, this one's curious because the potato itself, it says, you know, obviously running underwater and everything at that point. <clears throat> so, I don't know. I don't, the skin on this is a little harder than the potato. So, maybe if I at least get it here. There we go. I think it's just going to rip apart the apple. Now, obviously, it says it's only four potatoes, but hey, uh, the potato peeler that you get at the dollar store for a couple dollars or a dollar, I can peel everything. This, I can't even peel an apple. Maybe I can peel a carrot? I'm not sure. And then the result, I really can't peel a lot. These gloves, they're... They're big, they're bulky, they're they're not easy to clean. I even tried cleaning these off in the sink um, when I was doing that potato. And the the just it gets in the grooves and gets stuck and maybe you really gotta run them through um, a wash. But I just tried washing them off. Um, do not use as an oven mitt or pot holder. Well obviously. It says it right on here. How are you going to get these confused with an oven mitt or a pot holder? They're going to melt. It's just plastic. And let alone the plastic is going to be in your food. In your food. Ew. I don't know. They're $5 on Amazon. Here's the thing. Um, they're great for a family. I'm trying to get your family, your, your, your kids um, into it. Um, that might be something they try to get them into to cooking or, or, or food at that point. Um, but this apple's seen better days. Yeah. So potato peeler, the uh, is, is a little bit better, but the gloves. Okay. This product sounds like something you would use on a normal day, but it is more for play than it is usefulness. While peeling a potato can take a long time and lots of water, really lots of water, unless you're using a bowl of water aside, you are constantly running water. Besides it also peeling a potato, fruit is also easily torn apart and rendered useless. While peeling the potato, small pieces of plastic do come off. They can be washed away for safety if you feel that's okay with you. All in all, this is a great product for families. You can introduce your children into the art of cooking while you are able to give them a reason to play with their food. Again, thank you for watching. If you'd like to buy this product, the link is down below. Make sure you click that subscribe button to keep you in the loop for the next video. Also, leave any comments about this video in the comment section. Take care.